Hey guys, in the last video regarding uh, Unis software, I mentioned that in order to print a vase, what you probably want to do is take in, um, kind of tilt it on its side, and that's because it can create suction. So that is one way to do it. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to fail for sure. If you just put it on the build platform and, um, and let it print standing up like a vase or a vase or a cup or something similar, right? But it is less likely, and one of the ways to fix that is just by putting it on an angle. It doesn't guarantee it. One of the better ways to do it is to create a hole in the file. So I thought before I go too much farther and print the file, I'm going to actually just show you how to create a hole in a vase or a file um, using Mesh Mixer. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Mesh Mixer is a free software. I'll create a link uh, in this video below to, to download the software. And I'm going to import my vase double spiral base here found on Thingiverse all right and there's my guy all right so I'm not an advanced user of mesh mixer I learned what I had to to very minimally get what I need to do to, to print better all right and one of those things is with a vase like this um, they can be difficult to print if you don't create a hole um, to let the air in, let the resin drain out, and things like that. So how do we do that? Well, Mesh Mixer is a free software, and it kind of is a little cumbersome. It's not the easiest thing to use, but this is pretty straightforward, so I'll try and be as clear as possible. All right? So what you first want to do is get a sphere. So we're going to go to this tool. We're going to drag a sphere over onto our build platform. All right? From here, we just kind of got to kind of play with it to get it to the size we want. So grab the box to so grab one, bring it down that way, bring it down that way. And it doesn't have to be a perfect, perfect sphere. It can be an oval. We just need to create a hole. All right, bring it in here. If you grab these, you can move it around. So I'm gonna kind of like move it here and move it over here a little bit. All right, so technically speaking, I can just take out that whole thing right now. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. And we'll just keep making it smaller and smaller and smaller. You got to work it, and it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're getting there, but not quite there yet. All right. All right, so you, this is a good example. You can kind of see in here. You want to make sure you see it. So, so you know it goes all the way through. So actually, I kind of want it to be like almost like a, like a spear. All right, so that's my spear. It's a little big, than, bigger than it needs to be. So I'm going to just go down here. All right. So there's my sphere. I can see it inside. It goes straight through my print. Now I don't want it that high, so I'm going to move it down kind of low, like right there. I think that's probably about right. Okay. So I've created just a sphere and I kind of positioned it where I want the hole to be. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to press the accept button. And what I want to do is go to up in the left hand corner, I want to go view and show object browser, objects browser. All right, so this is easy to screw up here. So I'm going to try and explain. Um, so if I have the sphere selected and then I shift and select both, I can do the difference button here and my sphere disappears, right? So that's not ideal. And uh, obviously when I first started playing with Mesh Mixer, this was a frustration and uh, I eventually figured it out. What you have to do, so I'm going to uh, control Z, edit undo, is you have to select the sphere and then select uh, shift hold shift key down and select that and then go ahead and do your difference and now what will happen is if we look down here 
we have a nice little hole, which will allow our resin and air a place to go. So as the print build platform goes, uh, the suction will be relieved. And we should be able to print this straight up and down, which will not only save resin, it saves us from having to do supports and things like that. So the only question is, should I do one or should I do two or more? I think this is a pretty big size hole. I think one should be fine. I'm going to try and say should a lot because there's so many variables in 3D printing that it's hard to say what's going to work and what's not. But I think this is going to work for me. So that is how you create a hole in Mesh Mixer. Um, and then, of course, to go ahead and finish off, what we're going to do is um, export, bottom left, choose your file. I choose STL. And I'm going to call it um, vase for print. Throw it on the desktop. And we should be done in Mesh Mixer. Here's our vase for print. Let's go ahead and go back in Unis or Preform in Form Labs or Anycubic, whatever software you're using. Um, I'm going to print in the Unis. And let's throw a vase in here. And now we should have a hole. We should. Where's my hole? Did I do the vase for print? Didn't work. Okay, well, let's figure this out together. Why is my hole not in there? I'm going to delete this out, go back into my, oh, I have to press accept. So I skipped the, I skipped the step there. You don't want to do that. You want to press accept. Now you have a file. Okay. Now let's export it and we'll do vase for print and override the current STL file that we have there. Yes. I want to override that. Okay, so make sure you press accept. That's that's an important step here. Now let's try this again. Where is my hole? There's my hole. All right, so that was a success. Now if you see, you kind of like it almost deformed a little bit around here. So maybe you want to make a smaller hole. I guess that's going to depend on you. Um, you know, if you want to make a smaller hole, you just play with it a little bit more. But those are the general steps to creating a hole in your 3D file. So now I can print this straight up and down on the build platform. I don't have to add any supports. This is a, pretty much a perfectly balanced piece here. And yeah. Okay. So uh, please like, subscribe to the videos. I'll be creating more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, anything you want to know, uh, comment down below I'll, and I'll work it out and see if I can't make a video about it or or explain my thoughts on it um, follow me at hero resin check out heroresin.com for our products and services and things like that and uh, thanks for joining me I'll see you later